Hi there, Lee Griggs, Arnold Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. I just want to go through how to tune shade and light the Sven character here. There is this written tutorial if you want to follow along. And there's a link to the Autodesk Hyperspace Madness production where you can download the scene file for Sven. Okay, so here's the Sven model I've just downloaded. I've stripped all the materials out. So it's just the Sven Geo without any shading or lighting. Okay, so to start off with, I'm just going to create an area light. And I'm just going to move it up and above, in front of him, just slightly above his head. Like so. Start off an Arnold renderer viewport. So it's dark by default, so we need to increase the exposure of the light. Something like a 16. And I'm going to switch to render cam. So I'm going to start off by creating a tune material for the body suit. Let's call that suit. And we're not going to use any edges. I'm going to hide those. And then we're going to connect a a file texture to the base color for the for the suit. So that's file texture. And then just load the Sven Diffuse UV1. There's a bunch of UDM textures in the uh, within the project. And then just make sure the UV tiling mode is set to Mudbox. Okay, so I'm just going to sign that now to his body suit. So next time I'm just going to duplicate this shader and call that hair. Sign that to the hair and the eyebrows. And then connect that same file texture to the base color of the hair. So next is the face, let's just duplicate that, call that face. Connect the file texture to the base color. Just assign that to the face. So to get that tune look, we need to connect a base tone map to his face. So without it, you can see this is regular shading and with the base tone map ramp, uh, it gives more of a cartoon look. Okay, so face, base tone map. Let's create a ramp RGB. So we make the black kind of brownie color. Maybe a bit lighter, more saturated. And then for the specular, we can also do the same thing. So for the face, go to the specular, increase the specular, and then increase the roughness. And to get the tune look, we can add another ramp to the tone map. Push up a bit, like so. Maybe it's a bit too much. We can always bring these down a bit. And then another duplicator shadow again and grab the eyes. Assign it to the eye geometry. And then drag the file texture onto the base color. So we can use the stylized highlight to get a more interesting specular highlight on the eyes. First we'll have to create a spotlight. Spotlight. Let's go to the perspective view. I just position it in front of his face, shining in his eyes. And I'm just going to increase the exposure on the Arnold section, something like six. And we can copy and paste the text. So copy and paste the spotlight shape name to the shader and a stylized highlight paste lights in there. We go back to the render cam, be a bit clearer. So now we're getting this stylized highlight. We can reduce the size, reduce the color, get something a bit more cartoon looking. It's looking a bit intense at the moment. So I'm going to just shift the position of the area light a little bit. Looks a bit better, less intense. Now we just need to create the rim lighting. So you see we're getting a nice rim light here on the shaders. And to do that we'll need to create a, a directional light. So create lights directional. Just have a look in the perspective view. And we need to 
rotate it around so it's pointing from behind and maybe down a bit Something like that let's thread the cam let's clean this up a bit so we've got hair suit face So under hair, got room lighting. I mean to paste the shape name of the directional light. So direct shape one, just copy that, paste that text into the room lighting light. Now we increase the color. I can see the room lighting. We just tint it slightly so it tints the base color. Going to rotate it a bit, so something like that, and do the same for the face and the hair. So, the hair shader, room lighting, paste it in there, reduce width maybe, and same for the face. Okay, so that's how to lighten shades when using Toon Shading in Arnold. Thanks for watching.